Hey mermaids, it's Sarah Beth here at Southern Belle Reviews and welcome back to my little channel. I really appreciate you clicking on this video. You guys are so important to me. I'm almost at a thousand subscribers. Wow, I think I only need like 30 something to go. So that's amazing. I'm super, super grateful for each and every one of you guys. So I'm going to update you on my 50 Shades of Panning project for 2024 and Obviously, I should update you on last month's palettes first, and here's all of my progress on them. So, that was my 50 Shades of Panning number 5, also known as my 50 Shades of Nude, which is kind of a project in a project. So, I'm just doing this 50 Shades of Panning thing, and then I decided that four months in a row, I'm going to try to do nude palettes. So, this is my first of four <laughs> and then this will be my second of four set of palettes to use so the theme is show your true colors and that's the ongoing theme for these four months and the first palette for may 2024 was the pyt beauty upcycle eyeshadow palette in warm lit nude mini i used this 10 times and I'll do a few swatches for you. I'm really proud of myself for getting a little bit of use out of this. I did use this darker brown a little bit more than I anticipated that I would. But it blends out rather nicely. I have writing on my hand, so it's not going to be perfect today. But you guys got to know the real me. The real me is always writing on her hand. And there's no getting around that. I also liked this gold. And there it is. This nude was definitely my favorite shade in this palette. It just blended perfectly. I liked it with the brown. So this nude and the brown were great matte shades. I just really liked them. And there it is. It pretty much blends in with my skin tone for the most part, but I just really like the nudes and the simple basic looks. Last but not least, we use this copper tone a little bit, not as much as I had intended, but that's okay. Reminds me of a brand new penny. So the four shades in this quad got used a total of 10 times. Very proud of myself for that progress. And my other little mini palette here was actually a single, a single shadow or single palette or single pan, whatever. Um, it's actually Medusa's Makeup Luminous Highlighter in Highlighter Hotel. And I used this eight times. I didn't really use this as a highlighter per se i really just used it as an eyeshadow so for me this was more of an eyeshadow palette or a single shade shadow that's why i'm just like it's a single whatever because makeup doesn't have any rules you can do with it whatever you want so here's the swatch on my finger and here's medusa's makeup on my wrist very lovely white shimmer so i got eight uses out of that i guess i'll count nine including this swatch because for me swatches are still a use you're touching it you're using it okay so for june 2024 we have the ongoing 50 shades of panning project but it's number six and this is again 50 shades of nude two of four in my little mini project in a project if that makes sense i hope it makes sense and again it's show your true colors so for the first mini palette that we have it's the eleman beauty or eleman beauty illuminate and amalfi eyeshadow duo this is a travel size and i do have two of these palettes so here it is very small it looks like a little tiny quad but it's actually a duo now, I'm super stoked. We are going to King's Dominion in Doswell, Virginia, and we're taking our youngest son with us. So, of course, for my palettes of the month, or my makeup of the month, I'm going to be taking this palette with me and then this other little mini palette right here beside me and taking them to the theme park or for a little mini vacation and using them. 
Okay, so here is the lovely, very thick and very creamy shimmer. And it's a gold shimmer. It just seems so high quality. I really love these little duos. They're just so nice. So let's do a swatch of it. I've kept the swatches from the other palette or palettes. That's lovely. Look at that. It's even prettier than the other copper shade. Like you can see the other copper shade from the PYT Beauty palette. But for some reason, I'm drawn to this one a little bit more. I think it's just slightly more gold, slightly lighter. And I really like looks that feature two shades. Very simple, very easy to use. Just user friendly. Okay, let's smooth that out a little bit. There it is. And those will look really good together. They would also look really good with that Medusa's Makeup Highlighter. That'd be a very nice complimentary shade for both of those. What do you guys think? That's our Elaman Beauty Mini Palette, which is a duo travel size. And it's the Illuminate and Amalfi Eyeshadow. So I'm going to use this for June, as well as this bad boy, which is still new in the box. I did list it in my store on Mercari. Decided to keep it. I have a ton of makeup that's for sale in my store. And some of it I have decided to keep. This is obviously from Ipsy. And it is so cute. I love this little tiny compact. So this is Nomad Cosmetics. It's the Kiss of Sun Highlighter. Um, it's Sydney Bathers Balmoral Beach Single. And it's obviously a travel size. There it is. Kiss of Sun Highlighter. Very tiny. And their little box. I like the little tiny boxes. They bring me great joy. So here it is. And I don't know whether to call this embossing or what, but it does have this lettering on it. And like, I love the in. It's in for Nomad. And then the little C for cosmetics. But it reminds me of the periodic table that you would learn about in like chemistry <laughs> or biology. Uh, do you guys remember that? So, you know, the elements. So here we go. I'm going to mess it up because I'm going to start using it. Here we go. I usually swatch in circular motions. Okay, here it is. Very light, kind of like the Medusa's Makeup Highlighter, which is that one. The very, very lightest one that you can see. And here is the Balmoral Beach Sydney Bathers Kiss of Sun Highlighter. You can tell the difference between that and the Medusa's makeup. My oh my. I mean, that is pretty. So, these three shades, which are from the PYT Beauty Palette and the Medusa's makeup highlighter, single. And then, these three shades, which are from this duo, from Amalfi, Elaman Beauty, Amalfi duo. And then, the Nomad Cosmetics Kiss of Sun highlighter are really complimentary like each of these little sets set of three and set of three looks really nice so I'm really loving my little nude panning project and I hope you guys are enjoying the journey with me so here's our nomad isn't that cute I just love how tiny it is it's so so cute that's why it's been in the box forever because it's so tiny and like I didn't want to use it so I'm gonna put that right here Nomad Cosmetics, Elaman Beauty. These are going to be my current two for June 2024. And I should be wearing them while at King's Dominion, at the hotel, on the way home, <laughs> up there and back. And then these are from last month. So we have the Medusa's Makeup and the PYT Beauty. And if you notice a theme here, for last month, these were kind of clear lids. They kind of matched a little bit. And then these are both black. Okay, and there you have it. Thank you guys so much for coming to my little channel. I hope that you like and subscribe, and you can kind of see my progress for last month and this month. For May 2024, you can see my 50 Shades of Panning number 5, 50 Shades of Nude 1 of 4, and PYT Beauty got 10 uses plus today's, which makes 11 I count swatches, and the Medusa's Makeup Luminous Highlighter, which got... Eight uses plus today, which makes nine. 
And of course, for June, moving on to the next two palettes, we have the Elaman Beauty Illuminate little duo and I've used it once, so one little tally mark, and then the Nomad Cosmetics Kiss of Sun, which has one little tally mark. Very, very proud of myself for continuing on this project. I don't like to wear a whole lot of makeup. I'm very simple and I'm really enjoying that simplicity much easier than it was before when I would wear these crazy bright makeup looks. So I know it seems pretty basic, but it calms me down a little bit more to wear less and do less and just enjoy what I have and not buy stuff I don't need because that really, guys, is the plan. So I hope you have a amazing, fantastic day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!